my name is Chris McKinney. I'm the CEO of K-Bar Soap Company out of Clover, South Carolina. I'm a USMC combat vet, which is where a lot of the inspiration from this business came from. As soon as I got out of the Marine Corps, I realized I wanted to do something on my own, but I couldn't really find where I needed to be. I couldn't find that pitch. Spent many years working for other people in various roles, uh, from engineering to management to marketing. And I realized one day, that I really needed to take a chance and really needed to try something. I didn't want to be 60 and ask myself, what if? Realized that my pockets weren't that deep because I knew I wanted to be self-funding. I didn't have any deep-pocketed investors laying around. So I decided to Google how to start a business with no money. And making soap just so happened to be sixth on the list. Didn't know what kind of soap, didn't know anything about soap, don't come from a long line of soap makers. But I wondered, how could I give it my spin on a virtually untapped market. That's where k Bar Soap Company is. Um, we make all natural grooming products for men and some badass women out there. So our shape not only appeals visually, but it also appeals ergonomically and by the name as well. So this is the patented k Bar Soap Company design. So flat on one side so it can dry between use and an ergonomically shaped grenade on the front so you can hold it in the shower because nobody wants to drop the soap, right? So, not only visually appealing, but we come up with names that would resonate throughout the veteran community and men everywhere. Uh, this one just so happens to be named Whiskey and Bad Decisions, which I'm sure everybody can relate to, not only veterans. Uh, but we use whiskey, vanilla, and clove in this. So, we have 10 different other scents, as well as this one. They all have names. Um, we won't call it names, let's call them more so personalities because that's what I like to call them. So Whiskey and Bad Decisions is its own personality. And then we also have Ofa Made, which is our first bar ever made with the females in mind. Like, so we couldn't leave those badass women out. So this one's Lavender and Oatmeal. And the reason it's called Ofa Made is because it's our very first bar of soap made for women. Well, Ofa May was the very first woman in the Marine Corps. So there's the association with that. So all of our names of our bars of soap, there's a reason behind it and a personality to go with that. Along with the bars of soap, what we do is um, we also have complimentary products. So this is one of our soap dishes that allows them to dry out between use to combat the biggest negative piece of feedback that we receive, or not us receive, but that we notice from our competitors. Uh, so the biggest gripe from our competition was that their bar of soap didn't last long. So we set out to make sure we gave customers the ability to dry their bar of soap adequately between uses and made our bars each way 7.62 ounces, which will also resonate between or throughout the military community. Once we started with the soap, we decided that it only made sense to broaden our horizon and get into other areas uh, that could have been advantageous to the business. And if somebody was gonna buy beard oil from somewhere, why not buy it from us? We already had this stuff on hand, so we decided to expand it in the beard line. So we have our line of beard oil and our top selling soap scents. So if somebody is a fan of Whiskey and Bad Decision Soap, they can get some beard oil to match it. And they can also get beard grease from us. So. Beard grease is not a bomb, it's not a butter. We don't believe any real man needs to put anything in their beard called butter. So that's why we call it grease. So it's right in the middle. It gives a little bit of hold, a little bit of tame, and a lot of moisture to help those beards stay healthy. We also even make a hand repair bomb. So it's our version that if you really, really dry, cracked working hands, elbows, knees, um, any area that needs some extra uh, moisturization, you can do it all naturally with our knife hand. We also have hats, other various things. Um, we love to work with other veteran-owned businesses wherever we can. For instance, our Whiskey and Bad Decisions, we exclusively use Lead Slingers Whiskey, which is a veteran-owned company, um, and our Reveille bars here. So it's infused with coffee, has coffee grounds in it. We work exclusively with Black Rifle Coffee Company to make that. And you can also find it on their website as well. Not only work with veteran-owned companies, we love to work with companies that love to give back to the veteran community. So in our blanket party combo pack, comes with a pair of socks and a bar of soap. 
So for every combo that's sold, this company donates a pair of socks to a service member overseas, and we donate a bar of soap to a service member overseas. And we work with a charity that sends over care packages for those that don't typically get them. So we all know morale's a thing, so they're doing their part to keep morale high in an otherwise horrible situation oftentimes. We currently operate primarily online through our own website. We have 19 different retailers, smaller retailers, um, gun shops, gift shops across the country, farthest being in Colorado. Um, the reason they like our stuff over other people's is it's not just a boring bar of soap. It's not just a square bar of soap. It's a grenade, it's for men. It's a three-step approach. It draws them in visually. This is actually want to pick it up and then realize, Oh wow, that smells pretty good. Third step is them actually showering with freedom and realizing that there doesn't have to be a stigma around using something all natural, that you can still be a man and keep all your man cards and use something that's actually good for you.